Hey everybody, it's Javad again. I got some good feedback from the demonstration yesterday. And um, so I've added uh, a few more variables to this demonstration, um, particularly running current through this uh, subwoofer now. So you can see I have this just mounted in a box so the cone doesn't hit anything. Here I have a uh, tone generator and Room EQ Wizard producing 20 hertz, which is well below the FS of this subwoofer. And then we have our Smith & Larson woofer tester again. And uh, <clears throat> same two inductors we used yesterday. This is approximately a 3.5 millihenry iron core inductor made by Urs. And this uh, very accurately rated Dayton air core inductor. So same as yesterday, if we just center it, worst case scenario, right in the magnetic field of the magnet. You can see we have that change about 25% to 1.2 up from 1.25 up from 1.0. Now interesting thing, I'm running quite a bit of current through this subwoofer. I estimate it's at least 100 watts. And uh, so watch as, I, as soon as I turn on the current, you can hear that 20 hertz and it jumps up to 2.1. Now this is a substantial change and would definitely change any crossover tuning. You can see as soon as we turn it off it drops back down. Alright so now I'm gonna try it just rotated here 90 degrees. And you can see we're at 1.1. Not horrible, not great, but not too bad. And then we apply the current really a minimal change just having that 90 degrees to the magnetic field really minimizes the effect and again this is literally sitting on the magnet <clears throat> you can see this thing's going pretty good pretty close to x max for this uh, relatively cheap subwoofer <clears throat> all right so let's let's move it to the side And we're 1.07, almost no difference. And if we move it out about four inches, one point oh six, almost no change. So it's one interesting thing. So we're back in the worst case scenario here. Back to 1.15. And I'm gonna slowly move it away. Like this. Sorry for the jerky camera work, but I'm just going to move it out. So once again, this is sitting on, sorry, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Sitting on the back plate, and you can see the inductance has dropped substantially. So now I'm moving it out. It's approximately one inch away, definitely improving. Three inches away, six inches away. So by six inches, the effect, again, in the worst case scenario, is pretty much minimized, and this is with about 100 watts flowing through this subwoofer. Okay, let me just uh, let's just check out the iron core. And as has been noted, iron core should be affected more than the air core. All right, so we're well away from the, the speaker, and we're at about 3.8. 3.786. It's supposed to be 3.5, as you can see, it's a little bit off. All right, so we go, just set it right there, centered. All right. 
Now that value has now changed to almost 5, 4.8. Now if we turn off the current, drops to 4.1. Not great. Uh, it's supposed to be 3.7. As soon as we turn that current on, 5.1. Now that's standing on end. Let's just go up like this. Four point six, turn it off. Four point five, so relatively little effect from the current. Yeah, two tenths, three tenths. However, the magnetic magnetic field is affecting it quite a bit um, at this ninety degree. Let me just stick it to the side like that. Four point four. 4.4, the current doesn't seem to affect it much in that position. The magnetic field is affecting it about half a millihenry. Yeah, maybe one to two tenths difference. And uh, I'm going to move it out again just like I did the other one. But I'll do the worst case scenario with the most effect. Supposed to be 3.7, it's 2.4. Oh boy. Turn off the current, drops to 4.1. The current on, it's 2.0. All right, so I'm gonna move it an inch away, three inches away, six inches. That's back to three. You can see the effect definitely is bad at three, but then once you hit about six or further, this is about eight inches away now. Again, in the worst case scenario. Now if I just rotate it 90 degrees, I'm moving down, I'm now four inches, one inch, four inch, that's six, seven inches away. So anyways, this is hardly conclusive, it's not designed to be a scientific experiment, but uh, as opposed to just showing some diagrams that I, mostly I've ever seen anyone talk about this, they post a diagram, uh, which is a hand-drawn thing that someone came up with at some point. You know, this is some useful data. If you have one of these testers, I encourage you to do your own test and see as well. This has been very informative for me. Um, in a future test, I may run current through uh, one inductor and measure another inductor. Um, I don't think I can do that with this woofer tester though because it'll probably blow it. So I'm going to have to get a hold of an oscilloscope, uh, high current oscilloscope. Alright, thanks guys.